Hello, hello! Back for another episode of Oxygen Not Included. This one is going to be about uh, a colony uh, that uh, surpasses a thousand cycles. And um, I will kind of be explaining that the, the idea behind this video is for me to be explaining uh, how to how I reach this stage and what are the current challenges and generally how you go about uh, solving issues till you till you are able to actually reach uh, this uh, cycle comfortably. Can I give you an idea of uh, how to approach uh, late game if you are not um, a, a very well uh, experienced player, a very experienced player? And so I will aim to be explaining how my base works and how I have transitioned to the various phases of the game. Hopefully that will help you with your uh, gameplay as well. So as you see right now my stress is basically zero, uh, my immune systems are full, um, I have a lot of food and all that. And um, yeah, you, you, occasion, you see things like this here, I have my uh, rocket also, but you see things like bro building broken, broken and uh, yeah, some things are getting, uh, are getting broken just because the issue, the issue for that is basically heat temperature and um, that happens not in the specific case, I think the specific case was because it was too cold I suppose or something, oh, sorry. I'll check it later, this must be some sort of yeah, it's a pipe, so it becomes too cold, I guess. Uh, I was just setting up my farm here. Not that I need this farm, but okay. Uh, so, there's things like this here, for example, like the ladder uh, being broken, which happens because of the heat, because the uh, heating space is, is insane. So it's like 240 degrees, so things will break down from the meteors also coming in. Uh, and this was happening early in the game. Right now, everything is pretty much covered. As you see, I have... Uh, Pretty much the whole map covered with uh, doors, and some of those doors are open because I'm scanning. Let me actually show you here. But uh, basically now everything is covered uh, covered uh, in terms of the space, and so that so that will be fine. But uh, let's go back to the initial stages of the game. Let's go back here. So uh, normally it's important, and I have I have created a lot of a lot of uh, videos to describe these concepts. Uh, that you take things slowly and you... Let me see if I have something here, okay. <laughs> I have an extra bed, it looks like. Take, th take things slowly, don't go crazy with uh, duplicates. Don't go crazy with uh, giving them jobs and uh, uh, making them work in higher tier jobs. Right now I can obviously afford to, to have my people working at the highest tier jobs, no problem. Because my, uh, my vitals here are really, really good and um, they reach like plus 30 for the most uh, part actually. Uh, I guess once they eat. Uh, so, because you see I have like, oh, this one has eaten a great meal here. Uh, so sometimes, yeah, the decor can be mediocre depending on where the, whether, where the duplicate is at. That matters a lot. And I can make it better, obviously. But uh, I haven't really had a need for that too much. And um, I have my holes here, you know, my, my rooms, everything is set up. I have talked about these things, the great hall. Uh, the bedroom. So right now I'm obviously pumping a lot of a lot of oil because I'm not cycling <laughs> 1100, 1100. So um, I'm having a lot of production here, and um, I'll show you what's going on in both uh, in pretty much in every area of, the, of this map. But um, you'll see here. Let's let's start off. I have my first of all. I have my water supply here, and that's my water that actually goes. That, that is actually only used for my farms. So you see this water is actually getting pump, pumped to my hydro, hydroponic farms over here. And I think I am I using it somewhere else. I may be using it in something else. <laughs> uh, so yeah, for the farms as you see here. This one has, was broken because of the... I told, I told you the um, two cold pipes I guess. So I was actually transforming them. But th this farm is actually not really a requirement. I created it like, uh, like an extra but I probably need to fix it. Um, and so uh, you see here the water is at, uh, it's actually a little bit hotter than usual, it's actually 26, it should be, yeah, 26, 27. I don't know why this area is actually a little hotter, I have to, to examine that part. Um, I had a little bit, yeah, I had a little bit of uh, of an accident earlier with my metal refinery that emitted a lot of heat, so probably that's why, I maybe need to fix that. But the thing is, is that this will probably auto fix itself, because uh, I have created a, um, a tutorial about it earlier, um, about how to use um, the aqua th the thermo tuner, uh, what's the name of that? Let me see the aqua uh, the thermo aqua tuner. So and this pumps water at about um, 26, 27 degrees, and um, as you see here, this comes in as uh, a hundred, but when it, when it will come out, it will be much much better. Actually, 
and I need to probably fix that because um, yeah, this looks like hotter than usual. Not sure why. Because yeah, this should come out as 40. Probably that's why I'm getting some hot water. Uh, yeah, I probably need to check that. But the idea here is that um, uh, you pump water in here, and actually this is not working at the moment. I have disabled it. Probably that's why. Yeah, I think that's why this happens because I have disabled it, and the area here is super hot because it was working earlier. So it has actually heated the water that's uh, in the pipes. That's what's happening. Not a big deal. But uh, once this starts pumping in again, it will pump water at around 27 cells, 27, 26, 27 cells. Here. So that's, that should be fine. And um, I also have my metal refinery here, which uh, gets water at uh, pretty much zero Celsius. Um, and um, yeah, uses it and pumps it. Have created a little bit of a weird one here, which eventually goes down here. But um, as you can see here, I am I'm pumping some oil, crude oil, and I also have I am also pumping the extra um, natural gas that comes out from the comes out of the oil reservoir when I want to. Actually, when uh, when it's detected, I think I had a little bit of a breakdown on one of my um, uh, wires. That's why you see this uh, requiring power here. Uh, let me check. I think it's yeah. I think it was this one. There was a bridge actually that was uh, somehow. Um, oh yeah, this one. So I need to deconstruct. It's probably. Let me see why it was broken. Overloaded. Hmm, that's interesting. I'll have to check that. Uh, but let's uh, fix it for temporarily. And I need to con conductive bridge and conductive wire. I'll attend to that later. See what uh, what's wrong. But um, I'm pumping all the you know all the waters and stuff. Obviously, like I'm getting everything out in terms of water. Um, I have my uh, my nullifiers here working uh, where I, where I need them. And um, I have obviously created a lot of uh, like if you see here manufactured materials. I have three tons of plastic at the moment. I used to have like fifty or sixty at some point. <laughs> I probably need to pump, uh, pump up my production. My production, uh, but uh, you say there is like plastic ladders and all that. And I really recommend that you add plastic ladders and the beds. Very very important. And um, you may you may you may start production of oil. Uh, you may pump some um, some uh, crude oil here. You may stop it if you want. I do have my extra uh, gold here as well. Uh, I can, I can uh, you know, obviously create glass and all that. Uh, and my, my food is basically bristle blossoms here. And um, I do have another farm for which, again, I have created another tutorial on how to go about it. This one here, which requires irrigation. I don't know what's, why that's, that's it. Uh, something must be going on here. Oh, the power. Yeah, that's the power thing. Yeah. I don't know why that happened now. I was working just fine. Yeah, so somehow it is overloaded. So, yeah. A little bit unlucky, but um, this will be fixed. And I'll, I definitely have to see what's uh, what's going on here. Anyway, yeah, this is working just fine. It's probably something that just uh, periodically causes it to go up a little bit in terms of uh, power and uh, it broke. This has been working for cycles upon cycles. I don't know what happened. <laughs> anyway, uh, but... Um, yeah, yeah, that, that's uh, that's what's going on here. This was this was like a slime. This area, this whole area was like a slime area over here, and I have uh, dug it out basically and um, have cleaned up, have cleaned it up as you see with the odorizers. So basically, it's now safe. Probably has a few more germs, I guess. Yes, but it's probably okay. Likewise, here the same thing was like a slime area, and I it uh, I created my uh, chlorine uh, place here, my storage chlorine room. Chlorine storage room, which uh, gets um, chlorine from here, and in this map I was unlucky enough to have a, <laughs> two chlorine vents here, which sucks. I mean, I don't even know why there there would be two chlorine vents in one map. That's a waste, big waste. And uh, yeah, so these things are moving on greatly, and I do have my um, petroleum here as well, my petroleum storage. Uh, so I, I like to store petroleum in a separate room as well. Uh, with uh, which is um, obviously um, insulated with abyssal light, very important. And I basically, in terms of power, you see here I have my transformers, pretty much uh, so, you know, sending power to different locations. And there is a little bit of wiring going over here because I needed uh, some uh, some power for uh, my upper area, which is like my solar panels, my space scanners, and all that. A lot of steel. 
which again I have created a separate tutorial for. This, this is my first rocket here. So yeah, that's uh, that's what has been going on. And uh, petroleum is also requ a requirement for rockets, so you need to be storing it. Remember to store petroleum. But in terms of power, I, I do have um, like the highest in, in terms of um, how, you know what, how much power I'm getting and the, the places where I'm getting power from. It's basically natural gas generators with um, a petroleum generator. And um, as you see here, I'm pumping petroleum. But the important thing that I'm doing here is that each one of those devices, like the petroleum generator and the natural gas generators, have different automation setup. So you see here that uh, this is stopped because the natural gas generator is, wor generator is working. And because I consider the petroleum to be a more important resource and harder to get, I guess, um, this uh, has a, um, an, active, um, an active activation parameter that starts with at 60%. So if the battery goes less than 60%, it starts working. But this starts working when it goes less than 30%. So this is basically like my last measure, <laughs> my last, uh, uh, you know, my, la my, my last escape. If nothing else works, so if there's no natural gas, this kicks in. And um, I do have a similar thing with uh, my hydrogen vent, uh, which is which was pumping uh, hydrogen for my generators, which is not working at the moment, but. Uh, this is at 54% uh, because again I consider it a resource that uh, I can use uh, without uh, constraints, without uh, re being restrained. And this is zero. This is like my absolute worst uh, situation where I really, really need, uh, need to spell coal because coal is actually probably the worst uh, in terms of finding, in terms of creating uh, coal. Unless you have a lot of hatches that are doing it for you. So I kind of want to preserve, preserve my coal. Uh, I also want to be using it uh, for creating carbon. Uh, what is it? Carbon. Let me see here, I'm forgetting the name. Um, this thing here, the carb refined carbon, which requires coal. So I like to be using it for this. I have 55 tons, obviously, a lot, but still. And um, yeah, my exosuit docks for the locations that I was opening up, like here. I was digging through these locations here as well. And uh, I do have my um, uh, transit tube here, which takes me up to space and some other areas for easy transportation basically space as you see here and this is how it works and so it takes me up to space so that my dupes can easily uh, reach the different places maybe we can actually see one I don't know <laughs> going through that uh, it's nice to see them going through the tubes but um, that's basically a tour around my colony uh, the, I, I, I'm, at the, I'm at the moment I'm at a place where I don't have too many things to do now it's basically getting a little bit boring because <laughs> uh, at, the, at the moment I can only like uh, you know send some rockets in, in space which I have um, I have actually sent uh, one already um, I you see just grounded I guess but um, I don't know this is the current state but yeah I've, se I've sent uh, one rocket uh, just uh, a little bit earlier which has uh, landed now uh, but yeah, um, uh, the, the one thing that I want to do is actually pro actually examine the new uh, uh, the new critter. This is what I want to do. So I wanted to create um, a, 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 a rocket that will be able to reach this location so that I can get the gassy moo uh, with my biological cargo bay. Uh, so that's what I want to get basically. And I think that I'm going to be working towards that. I don't know. I don't know if my current rocket supports that. Maybe I have to check. But uh, yeah, that's basically what uh, what's missing. Anyway, uh, that's you know what's going on with uh, like a thousand uh, cycle colony. Uh, uh, very important to manage your heat here, and that has been getting me a little bit because I opened up the space a little bit early, and so I got some un um, you know unneeded heat uh, in some areas of my base, like here, and which is a little bit tough to remove after a while. Uh, so yeah. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that gives you some ideas and shows you kind of a layout of how I'm approach, um, I am approaching the game and probably gives you some some ways to approach it in your uh, to approach your games as well. And uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye bye.